In 2021, I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. Pretty lofty challenge. In 2022, I'm challenging myself to completely redo that deck of cards, utilizing the prompts from last year. This was the third card I did, likely my least favorite. We are going to redo it right now in this video, utilizing the burlap, the ephemera, and just recreate that card to a more palatable conclusion. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to be very explorative in the things I do. If you like that type of meandering, please hit the subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. You can find me on the web at these places as well. So I hope you'll join me to alter this complete deck. In 2022, we're going to do one per week. This week, we're working on the third card or the three of spades. This is last year's version. And as I said before, likely one of my least favorite of that 2021 deck. So I plan on using the burlap. So I'm cutting out just a sheet of that. I also have some um, jute that I have in the frame there that we will be using as well. I want to add a little texture to this card. So I pulled out the texture plate paste, just spreading it around to cover the card. I want to leave the card face or the card denomination, what that card is, the three of spades. On each and every card this year, I want it to be visible that it's a playing card. Now, the first thing I want to do is color the background, and I've chosen this Distress Oxide Spray in Pumpkin. Now, to add the burlap, I want to cut it and cover it so that three is showing. I have the piece of lace that I will be cutting out this little flower, and we will attach that in some fashion to the card but let's trim around that burlap we've glued it down it is now dry enough to trim off and let's decide where this little flower should go so i'm liking the contrast of the the rustic burlap and the white flower but that pumpkin is kind of glaring out to me so i want to tone that down a little bit and I think I'll also tone down that burlap just a bit as well. And I'm doing that just by sticking my finger in my gesso and spreading a little gesso to just take it back just a bit. And there, I think that looks, looks a bit better. Distress Oxide ink around the outside edge of that card. And we're getting closer. I want to add some handmade ephemera. So I have cut this toilet paper roll, put it in my texture plate, taken it to the big shot. Now I am just rubbing over it with that distress oxide to bring out that texture and have cut it into a one and a half inch and a one inch circle. It might be a two inch but a large and a small circle. Let's go with that. I'm going to glue the three pieces together. The fabric flower or the lace flower to the larger circle. And then that smaller circle will become the center of that flower for me. So now we have a, a little more robust focal point. And I think I want to add that jute string. And I'm just deciding exactly how, whether I'm going to tie that down the side or create a bow at the top. And I've decided the bow at the top. So I'm punching two holes with my crocodile, horizontally positioned at the top of the cord. I want to go ahead and put my back on, which I am just riding on the back. I'm not really creating a 
full back piece of art here. I'm just putting some lined paper back here so I can just record the date it was created and um, what, it, what I'm doing when it is. So we'll repunch those holes to get through that paper as well and string that jute and tie it off in a little bow. Now I want to untwist the ends and I will pull out a comb and just comb through that to really fray the ends of that jute to give it a more rustic, worn, weathered appearance. Just trim those off. And now I'm going to attach the flower with the glitter glue. We'll glue this down here on the lower corner of the card. And this is it in contrast to last year's. But I do think I want to add one more thing, and I'm going to pull out my trusty liquid pearls and just add a little center dot to our flower. And there we go. I think that looks better. And when I add that dot, I tap on the card to let that kind of filter down and uh, form that nice round blob, if you will. And now I want to add three dots up there on the top across from the three of spades. And there it is. Last year's and this year's. So I think I like this year's better. I hope you do as well. It's a very quick, easy card to create. That's my goal, is to go through these altered cards and not make them a difficult process. So I hope you'll join me and use that hashtag and show me what you're creating. My appreciation is, of course, for all of my subscribers. And if you have not subscribed, please do. would love to have you join me through this deck. Thank you so much for being here, and I shall say bye for now.